the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. In the teams then, Real Madrid against Barcelona. This is Peter Drury and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Thanks Peter, it's a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here. And you can feel the sense of occasion here. El Clasico, one of world football's great occasions. No rivalry more intense. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? I'm going to go for a man who probably defines the anchor midfield role, Sergio Busquets. Uh, responsible for maintaining the balance when either fullback moves forward, he can drop in at centre back occasionally, um, and he gets him on the front foot with his crisp passing. Thinking the same, he will be a central feature, no doubt. Luis Suarez pumps it forwards. Well, I think it was a little difficult for him to pick exactly the right option there there were so many in the box i don't think we should be totally surprised that he actually went for the shot in the end he's gone for a throw in bale bale they scored listen the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen they have a habit of making their presence felt, and here we are, early stages. He struck wood, and he looks hungry for more. That was glorious, pinpoint accuracy. Well, once upon a time, I was harsh on goalkeepers, but now I'm more sympathetic because the ball moves all over the place these days, and we've just seen it again. Real Madrid take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Arda Turan with the ball through. Cut out in the nick of time. Real Madrid have hit the front early, a foothold in the game. What a good start to the game. I think their play has been fast and inventive, and, and this is a fine example of early intent. They've begun as they mean to go on, and another goal is on the cards. And it's Messi. It's Luis Suarez! Luis Suarez. It's anyone's ball. It's in! Now listen, the writing was on the wall, it looked like this was going to happen, and it has. Keylor Navas reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Well, it still had to be finished off, so well done to the goal scorer, but the keeper should have done a lot better. certainly made things interesting. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal. It just got caught napping. Sergio Busquets. So midway through the first half, and it is a tight old tie. Modric did well to step in there. That was all than necessary. Bale has been given offside. Just drifted beyond the last defender. Modric. Mascherano. It's a long forward pass. Rakitic. Oh, he's broken through. All the balls come loose. Jordi Alba. Out towards the flank, tries to dink it in, and the shot! Goal! Barcelona! And the game is well and truly turned on its head! Jim, your thoughts? Well, we've just seen intelligent football from intelligent footballers. That's honed on the training ground, and lovely when it comes off on match day. Barcelona go into the lead. 
Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back a bit. Rakitic with a good steal, well played. Pique. Messi. Now it's Messi. Gonna throw it. Sergio Ramos. Tony Kroos. Modric. We sit high. It's a brilliant interception. But it's Luis Suarez. Looks like a good ball through. A oh, terrific run to latch onto it, but the finish is all wrong. And it just goes to show you how effective those through balls can be. All it needed was a better execution. Oh, that's great stuff. Exactly what he's all about. I think what we're looking at here is just a very special talent. Someone who can decide the outcome of a match on his own. Marcelo. Luis Suarez. Five minutes till the break. And it's Luis Suarez. Now the pass. Now it's Neymar. Decent hit and on target. that he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close. Oh, you could tell he really wanted that. Yeah, he's definitely a player who looks like he could make something happen every time he's on the ball. He's just full of belief and energy. Modric, lets it in gently. Gets it upfield. Sergio Ramos. Does well to read it and intercepts. <laughs> Morata takes it out to the wing. Marcelo looking for options. Corner. loose who's getting there Danilo tries a long pass towards the front wonderful quick feet Bale it's Bale and he's there to make a great save and that... and the first half is done Things going for the second half. I think they've got to go out at the start of this second half now and set a tone that smacks of intent and determination. Should they manage it, I think they can find a way back. Sergio Busquets. It's a loose ball. It's been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Pique. Pique's got good distance on that. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Danilo. Tony Kroos. Bale demanding a quick ball here. 
That's not going to make it. Gets it upfield. Who's going to make this theirs? Sergio Busquets. Mascherano gets into the right position to intercept. Well, they are still trailing and they require a change of fortune pretty sharpish. Neymar passes it through. Pepe did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Looks to slip it through. Now it's Neymar. Tony Kroos. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Messi. Luis Suarez tries a through ball. Now it's Messi. Messi! Fair attempt, just the wrong outcome. Goalkeeper's ball. Danilo. Jordi Alba. Mascherano. Aim forward. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. That's Cristiano Ronaldo. DK. Distance on that. Spoon forward. Bell. Deftly done. And he's been judged offside. Gets it upfield. Arda Turan tries to get it forward quickly. It's Rakitic! Barcelona get it again. Real Madrid haven't made a substitution yet. Mascherano. And it's Messi. Sergio Busquets. Pique. Arda Turan, a scorer already in the game. Mascherano, Rakitic, Jordi Alba, Arda Turan, Tony Kroos, going back to the keeper. Keeper's got good distance on that. Modric, Cristiano Ronaldo, puts his foot on the gas. Out to the left it goes. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. And some players have clearly taken issue here and things are threatening to boil over. Another opportunity from a set piece they have here. A oh, glorious footwork. Bale. Bale! Well, there's no point in adopting a conservative attitude now. As long as they don't lose their shape completely, they have to throw men forward in this situation. Just five minutes left. Got away with one there. <laughs> A poorly directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. Looks to thread it through. And it's Modric. 
Now the pass. It's a goal! We thought it was over. It's all square once more. Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Cristiano Ronaldo is the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. So all square with almost no time remaining. Thrust towards the front line. Bale passes it through. Now it's Morata. Comes in hard, but he's taken enough of the ball. That's it, we're going to get 30 minutes more. Yeah, both sides did start playing for a draw towards the end, but it was all very disappointing. For me, not much of a spectacle for these supporters. So a brief breather, and then extra time. Real Madrid got us going in extra time. Real Madrid displayed great characters of force extra time from what looked a pretty ominous situation. The question now is, can they go on to win it? It is doable. Looks like a good ball through. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Now it's Luis Suarez. This could fall anywhere. Danilo gets good distance on it. Luis Suarez with the ball through. Neymar. Luis Suarez! Well, he would surely have scored there more times than not. Cristiano Ronaldo. And now they can launch a counter. Iniesta plays a clever pass. And you could just about hear the collective sigh there. They know they got away with one. Dinks one in. That's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Sergio Busquets. Played out to the right. Looks to slip it through. Messi. Can he finish? Goal at his mercy, and somehow he's missed it. Or maybe the tension around this game played a part in that because he should have put them ahead then. A real chance missed. <laughs> and Messi! Modric, he does have an assist to his name. Danilo. Bale. And that's it for the first half of extra time. Well, there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this tale. I think there's bound to be some late drama in the final 15 minutes of this epic. there to be drama in these final 15 minutes. Benzema just fell there. Iniesta. Pique. Tries a through ball. He's found his man. Luis Suarez! Goal! Barcelona! They have retaken the lead in extra time! 
Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Barcelona take the lead. Listen, it's no surprise to me as to who scored the goal when you look through this team. He's the standout performer with a, a whole repertoire of different talents. He'll do for me every time. It's Benzema! Saved only by poor finishing. I think he's done very well to get into such a good position in front of the goal, but he just couldn't put in the telling touch. Forward it goes. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Benzema has a go! Benzema has been caught offside. Must do something here and very quickly. They have to commit numbers forward and give themselves something to attack. It's Benzema. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Luis Suarez. Iniesta boots it upfield. Now here's the through ball. Luis Suarez. Luis Suarez! Well, I suspect there'll have been a few nails chewed off during that attack. How they survived, I'm not quite so sure. But their lead is intact, and that's all that matters. And it's Iniesta. The final whistle. Quite a game. Memorable for its fluctuation in fortunes. An astonishing turnaround. So there it is. What struck you most about that? Well, remembering what the feeling was like, I can only sympathise with, with the losers of any derby. It's a, it's a horrible experience, and I doubt you'll see these players out in the town tonight. I think it'll be more of a, a night in, uh, licking a few wounds.